Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the Racing Line for another circuit guide here on iRacing. This is week 2 of season 4 2022 in the D-Class Fix GT4 Challenge. Once again with me, driving the Aston Martin Vantage GT4. This week we're back at Daytona already since last week in the Ferrari. It's the road course of course and the date and time is set to the 24th of September 2022 at 20 past 7 in the evening to match the official race time sent out on the season PDF. Same format as before, breakdown lap followed by a full speed uninterrupted lap followed by an off-board lap. And as usual, these guys are filmed before the week has begun, so it's difficult to compare lap times. But let's see if we can help you guys find some time around this relatively simple circuit, but yet sometimes tricky to get right. So here we are then on the main curved straight before the first braking zone. And we're going to brake just as we approach this yellow light box on the right hand side. Hard on the brakes from sixth down into third but you want to aim your car right to the outside of the track to have a late apex towards that tire wall and then you can smoothly apply the power in third gear being careful not to lose that rear end and avoid these curves or you can use the curves but avoid the grass as you feed it through that right left the next braking zone is tricky the 100 meter board is all the way on the right and we need to break on the left hand side of the track from fifth down into second gear with a late shift down to second trail braking all the way in towards the apex and then once again smoothly applying that power ever so slightly uh, on the exit to not lose traction and lose that rear end. It's flat out through here in fifth gear. You can cut a little bit, that's fine. Keep it on the left-hand side on the exit, and we're going to break around halfway through this little left-hand road here where the cones are on the left-hand side. From fifth down into third gear. Same as before, trail braking towards the apex, except this time we're not going down into second so that we can get on that throttle a little bit early and a little bit more confident. In second, I was losing the rear too much, so I kept it in third. Next braking zone is as the road veers off to the right. Hard on the brakes initially, trail brake in from fourth down into third gear. Now watch this, before the apex we actually start accelerating around 40%. Uh, we had two wheels on the grass and it really, you need, really got to focus on that throttle input so you don't lose the rear end. You don't have to go right up to the wall on the exit. If you've gone right out there, you've carried too much speed in. You go up to about halfway or maybe hold it tight to the bottom. If you go halfway, slowly bring it back down towards the yellow line and you'll gain an extra couple of kilometers uh, on the on the banking and along this straight. We've got the chicane coming up. It's the final braking zone. That's right. There's only about five braking zones here. The next one is the yellow light box again. Just as I go past it, hard on the brakes initially from sixth down to fourth. I accidentally hit the wall there. Cut the inside curve, stab the throttle, dab the brake again in fourth, and then accelerate through the next right left. Trying to keep two wheels on the circuit at all times as it's easy to get a 1x or a slow down there. The next bit is of course flat out all the way till the end as you're going to reach sixth gear. There's no point in going up the bank and then coming back down. Just hold it tight to that yellow line all the way around here and then once you get to the main bit if you really want to try and gain an extra thousand or two you can cut the apron uh, which I believe, don't, don't hate me, which I believe is legal in races but only on this part of the track not the back part of the track. Uh, and that is a lap of Daytona International Speedway Road Course. Let's go through it again, full speed, uninterrupted. Look for the yellow light box on the right-hand side. Hard on the brakes from sixth down to third. Straight out to the outside of the track to the white line. Get it turned in towards the late apex. As soon as you get towards that tyre wall, start putting your power on. Up into fourth straight away. Don't touch the grass on the right. Don't touch the grass on the left. Get it over to the left-hand side, 100 metre board. Hard on the brakes, fifth down to third, then down to second, get it towards that apex and get straight back on that power once you hit that apex and then away you go, up through the gears, right out to the left, bring it back over to the right, you're going to reach fifth gear and then you're going to go flat out through this left hander, you can cut the curb a little bit, it doesn't matter too much. Keep it on the left hand side, halfway across this road, hard on the brakes, down to third, trail brake towards the apex again, smoothly apply the power from the midpoint, careful of losing that rear end, once you feel like you're not going to spin up the rears, then you can get full throttle. Up through the gears again, you're not quite going to reach fifth just before that right turn. Dab the brakes from fourth down into third and then start accelerating from the apex point. Really careful of the rear end through there. That's probably out of all of the corners. I mean, it's twitchy on all of them, but that is probably the worst one. If you get your power down early enough, because you've got this long flat out section, you really can lose the rear and then you've scrubbed off a whole half a second or so along here if you've really messed up that corner. Keep it on the right hand side. Don't hit the wall like I did on this lap, of course. I did 0x this, I guess. Uh, look for the yellow light box on the right hand side, hard on the brakes, sixth down to fourth, hit this first apex, stab the throttle, dab the brakes again before the next apex and then flat out through the right left in fourth gear through the rest of it. Try and carry as much speed as you can through there of course because you've got another flat out section now. If you're following someone it's not too important because you've got slipstream to try and bring you back in by the time you get to turn one but if you're by yourself exit is so important. And if you've got someone behind you, it's almost impossible to defend around Rovals, but I'm sure you'll give it a damn good go. And that is a lap of Daytona International Road Course. 
That is a 153.3. As usual, that is pretty much it from me. I'm going to leave you with this off-board lap. Don't forget to keep those likes and comments coming in and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It really does mean a lot. We've hit that 7K barrier, so keep an eye out for more guides. If you've been liking these, hit that subscribe button. And if I don't see you on track this week, then I'll see you next week for the next video here on The Racing Line. Peace.